and welcome back. Oh. Um, shit. <laughs> Great way to start a video. Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Oracle Seasons, everyone. Last time, I got pretty disappointed in myself because I couldn't read for shit and I already started off pretty crappy, so this should be a good recording session. My cat's kind of being weird right now. But anyway, we were so last time we stopped at the Temple of Seasons where we were supposed to collect this Rod of Seasons where... Uh... I can't remember much after that. Anyway, we're just supposed to collect some Rod. So we have to go up here into the sunken city of the Temple of Seasons. Go, go on this pedestal, get flashed a few times, and you get yourself a little Rod. To me, it honestly this looks like a little timer with a rod. But whatever, you got the Rod of Seasons. With the powers of the season spirits, it can change the seasons. Yeah! Now bring the Rod of Seasons to, uh, to you, to us season spirits in the four towers. Could at least say please? Alrighty. <clears throat> it is currently... Almost 11, actually. <laughs> I can't go there yet, but I can go over here, which this is the symbol of winter. Goddamn. Wait. Hey, <laughs> jeez. <sighs> oh. Go over here, and now we're blessed by some random fairy that really just looks like Navi. Thank you for coming, child of the child of the crested hand. The spirit of winter has been waiting for you. Din is our friend. Now let me bestow the power of the spirit of winter on the rod you hold. When you swing the rod from the, from atop a stump, a season the season shall change. I'm winter. The water freezes and the snow piles up. Visit the other three spirits too. Please hurry to Din's aid. Nope. I mean, sure thing. The Rod of Seasons has been blessed with the winter ch wintry tri chill. Climb atop a stump to call forth winter. Alright. In all honesty, winter is my favorite win my favorite season. Just because it's cold and I'm more used to the cold than summer. And now there are leaves coming about this lavery area. area. <laughs> so the item was actually the Rod of Seasons. New roads will surely open with the power I dreamt of the woods in the east. There may be an essence there. Link, can you go there for me? Sure. You fucking lazy fuck. Ugh, my brain's kind of mushed because I've been I've been playing nothing but Dark Souls today, and I'm in that frozen palace area. I just killed the snow snow leopard thingamajigger. I think that's what it's called, snow tiger, whatever. And <laughs> I barely scraped by on that, but now that like ev now now that like all the ice is broken, spoilers by the way, like once the ice was broken thanks to that girl who was keeping hold of chaos, whatever. Um, all the chests that were frozen that I come across were now unfrozen, so I I was trying to backtrack and head back to the areas where I saw them. Oh hey, it's the that's it. You have the Rod of Seasons! If that rod held the power of, of season spirits, you could change the seasons. But I see it has only the power of winter. Mm. Swing the rod from atop that stump, its power will be unleashed. Do you understand? Yes! Because I am not an idiot. If the Temple of Seasons has sunk into some land called Subrosia, there must be some other there must be other entrances to the Subrosian land. You must find them. Perhaps you will even go to the Temple of Seasons again. So we part. I didn't read that fast enough. <laughs> so yeah, um, just to show you what the rod does, you just swing it and let there be snow. Yay! Keep in keep in mind, ice makes you slip a lot, so that's one thing to keep noted. In reality, it's just fun. Back to what I was saying. So yeah, once I got all the, once like the snow was, not the snow, the ice that was covering the chest was broken, decided to backtrack. Holy hell was that a pain in my ass, that, damn it. 
<laughs> that was a pain in my ass because I tried to. Hey, that's the second level. I tried to like get all the try to get to at least one of the chest areas. I could even do that because apparently the first enemy you'll counter. I, I don't know why they're just being a bitch to me. And those people you saw that were like kneeling down before you. Well, not kneeling down, but they were just kind of on the ground, just like depressed. Like once the ice is broken, they start to come alive. Alive. <laughs> and sweet, thirty rubies. That's nice, indeed. <sighs> Gotta keep explaining. So once, once the ice was broken more, it, like those people you saw that were just kind of laying there on the ground, they start to come to life and start attacking you. And they're not so—they're not the nicest bunch of people you can go around with because they sneak up behind you and backstab you, which is really annoying. What are you doing, kitty? She just wants to sleep. Sunken Falls. Headwaters in Sunken City. Alrighty. Um. So yeah, those enemies come up and they're just a pain in my ass. And I eventually, I eventually like got to this place with an elevator that was cut off before thanks to the ice, so I went to go check it out. I got invaded twice, killed I got killed by the first invader, but then I killed the second invader, which was actually an NPC. NPC means non playable character. And so she looks familiar. Ah you startled me. Winter sets it sets in all of a sudden, then down my chimney comes. But you're not Santa. You're you don't scare me. Now take this shovel and clear the clear the snow from my walkway. Keep the shovel when you're done. And that's how you get a shovel, people. You got the shovel. Now start digging. No problem. Oops, I'm digging. Anyway. So, kill, got killed by the first invader, which was actually some random player, and then the second invader was an NPC that I killed. Almost killed me, in fact. But once I killed him, this, this, that, and I eventually got pissed because these weird rat spike things started ambushing me, and they eventually cornered me, and I managed to kill him, but then there was this one who I cornered, but with the weapon I was using, which was a halberd, the Mastodon, Mastodon, whatever, the elephant, um, <laughs> halberd, was, oh, what's he saying, I thank you for paying to fix my door, oh, fuck you, take my money, asshole, anyway, yeah, so, I tried to kill that, those ice rat things, and, I couldn't do it because my halberd was too long for the corner, so I kept on hitting the wall, which made my character stagger, and so my weapon, well no, not my weapon, the rat thing, which literally can hurt me by just touching me because of its spikes, killed me by rolling. I eventually screamed at the TV, I didn't throw my, I didn't throw my controller down, but I was like, I'm done. So I watched some Markiplier. Uh, Markiplier, PewDiePie, King Grumps, and all that crap. Look, I'm doing better now. And here we are today. In this game session where I am actually talking a lot more often than... How the... What the fuck? Whoa. I'm a genius. Okay, that was a little confusing, because I was like... Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah. I thought all the water would freeze, but I guess not. Oh, Zelda. How you make this game difficult sometimes. So yeah. I gotta say though, I'm really impressed with all the things that's been happening throughout the game so far. I mean, I'm really immersed in it, if that's the right word. And I I, have, I haven't died so much in so long. It's, it's good to play that game. I mean, I've died a lot in games such as Ninja Gaiden and all that crap. Let me ease your, let me ease your wariness. Close your eyes. And now I'm healed. Keep in mind those are fairies. Well, that's a great fairy that heals me. Other smaller fairies are about in this game, so they're not really that hard to miss. Shovel, 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 shovel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah, I haven't died that much in a while, and it feels good to like do trial and error because. I played so many games for so long, like I played the same games for so long that I um I'm checking my phone here. 
that I not I'm not really surprised about much anymore. I mean, if I miss a thing or two, then I'm like, oh, that's neat, and then I'm interested. But beyond that, I'm just like, oh well. Go to the left. There's an enemy to your left. Then if you go to the right, there's an enemy to your left and to your right. All this, this, and that. But yeah, it feels good to play new content because since I don't have like the, the Xbox One or anything, I can't play new games. And really, all the titles that have been coming out so far look really interesting. I want to get a Wii U so I can try out the new games, but the newest con the newest like thing that's up to date with gaming is just my 2DS, which before a while back. I got one for Christmas, but then I got stolen the first day of school whenever I came back from winter break. So I bought another one. And so far, that's the only thing I have that's up to date with games. And now we got more seeds, and these are the mystery seeds. What did they do is a mystery. Try them on many things. Open your seed satchel to use them. Now these seeds, like they said, are a mystery because they have a lot of effects depending on what you use them for. So you see this? This is actually an... This is like an owl statue thing, and the only way you can interact with them is with the mystery seeds. Like so. Do not forgive to give me mystery seeds! <laughs> and, depending on what item you use the mystery seeds for, they can do damage or not, or they can... They just do a wide variety of things. And that's a little fairy there, those things don't heal you all the way. Okay, that's all right. Cause at the, at the, for a moment I thought the second I come out of that door, it'd be spring and I'd be fucked because I can't swim and that's just a pile of water. But anyway, we are in the second level, level 2, Snake's Remains. But that's going to be all for now everyone because we are out of time. So leave a like and comment if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel girl, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And we will see what we what uh, what this dungeon un has for us. Unfold. Fuck. Whatever. See you guys. <laughs>